Hi everybody, hope you're all having a great weekend. I'm going to start this video with something I forgot to tell you last week, but it was like such a great thing and I don't know how I even forgot to tell you, but it's officially been a year since I quit smoking and I quit smoking last year on June 14th, so I've been a non-smoker for a year and so has my husband and I, I haven't smoked since then. Um, I really, I just woke up one day and didn't want to buy a pack of cigarettes, didn't feel the urge for some reason and I haven't smoked since then. I got pretty lucky. I know that some people really, really struggle with it and um, I always thought I would, well I never thought I would quit smoking to be honest. I thought I would always be a smoker. I loved smoking. I did it when I got up. I did it after every meal, when I got in the car, <laughs> anytime I was stressed out, when you're watching TV, when you leave the store. Like I just I smoked all day long and I loved it. So I never saw myself as a non-smoker but I've been a non-smoker for a year now and I think that's really, really awesome. I'm so proud of myself. I'm so proud of my husband. So, um, I feel a lot better, breathe a lot better, you know, I mean, it's complete change, not coughing all the time and, you know, everybody's not telling me how gross it is all the time anymore because I don't do it. So, I'm so proud of that and I can't believe I forgot to tell you guys that last week, but I'm telling you now. <laughs> so, I've been like making little changes like that for a while, trying to get healthier and um, you guys know because I've, I've told you that heart disease runs in my family so I've been trying to eat healthier and I did weigh myself the other day. I've lost 28 pounds. I had lost 20 pounds several months ago and then I gained a little of it back so I've had to lose some of that. So I've almost lost 30 pounds and I think that's pretty awesome. Um, my goal is not to be skinny. My goal is just to be healthier and um, I'm only five foot one, so I kind of know, well, I gained a lot of weight when I got married. I gained 80 pounds when I got married, so <laughs> trying to at least get back to where I was then when I got married. I was still a plus size girl, you know, I was um, a size 16, 14, 16, but um, yeah, I've gained so much weight since then, so I'm trying to get back to where I was, trying to be healthy, because I don't want to have a heart attack when I'm 40 or 50 or something, you know? I'm just trying to be as healthier. So the main thing, well, you guys know I've been eating a lot more at home, and we're still cooking at home. We're doing seafood this weekend. I'm doing mahi mahi today. That's one of my husband's favorite fishes. So I hope I do it right for him because he's. I think he's really worried that I'm gonna mess it up. But I'm a good cook. I really am. I think he's just he's nervous. But he wanted seafood, so that was his choice. <laughs> anyway, so that's what we're doing. We're cooking at home. Last week I did something, I've started doing something when I get my groceries that I hadn't thought to do before, so I thought I would share with you guys. I mean, it, it totally makes sense, and I'm sure some of you guys probably already do it, but there's probably other people who are like me and never thought to do it, but it totally makes a lot of sense, and I saw this in a video on Kinsey Restricted's channel here on YouTube. I'll put her link below. She's on a weight loss journey. She had weight loss surgery, and um, I really like her. She's a big inspiration to me. She shows the food she buys, and she shows herself like when she's working out, sweating it out, you know, like it just, it really inspires me. It's like, you can do this, you know, <laughs> it's not easy. And it just, it really helps me to push through things to keep eating healthier and you know, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, she did a really quick video last week about how she buys Ziploc bags and gets her foods and puts them into the portion and portions all of her food into the Ziploc bags. So that's what I've been doing. I want to show you guys like, most of my food's not in my kitchen, I just keep it in the pantry, but I did that with all of my foods, whether it be snack foods or whatever it is. And this is my cereal I did, and you can look, of course, on the nutrition facts, and it'll tell you, like, um, what the serving size is. So I looked at the serving size, whether I was counting out 11 crackers or 28 honey grams or whatever it was, I took the time and I did that with all my foods. And this is, you know, three-fourths a cup of my favorite cereal. So it's already portioned out, and it's easy to grab. Like, if I want a snack or a cereal, I can just grab this. I already know that that's the right amount. So it took a little time to do when I got my groceries, but it's definitely been worth it. It's helped me keep from over-snacking and overeating, like, so much. Like, it's a huge change just doing that. So I thought I would share it with you guys, because there might be somebody else who hadn't thought to do that either. So <laughs> anyway, that's what I've been doing, portioning all my food into Ziploc bags. I've also, I've really cut down on eating meats and sugar. And I do eat a lot of soy products now, a lot of Morningstar, and I know some people are not into soy, soy's not healthy, and all this sort of stuff, and I, I get it. People are on different plans and different things, and 
but for me soy helps me soy really helps fill me up and it really helps to um, keep me from overeating and keep me from eating all those fatty fatty meats that I always want to eat so it's really helping me so I'm gonna stick with it with sugar I've just I've cut down a lot of the processed sugars I eat I still eat natural sugars the fruits and things I love fruit so that's probably not going to change, but I've, I've cut down on that kind of stuff. And it's it's just easier as I go along with it. And yeah, that's what I've been doing with that. The other thing I want to share with you guys is a Lush haul. I had to go to Lush today because I was about out of my moisturizer. And Lush moisturizer is the only one that keeps my skin looking good, doesn't break it out. And sometimes their skin stuff does cost a little more. But I think I really have to have stuff that's like natural, really, really natural ingredients. And that's what Lush has. So a lot of times when it gets into like using the chemicals and the acids and things and other skin products, it does a number on my face and I look horrible. <laughs> so I can't use that. It kind of does chemical burns and things. So my husband is totally okay with the Lush stuff even though it costs a little more because it really works. And like I have such dry skin. So... Honestly, the Lush is the only thing that will moisturize my skin enough to make it not look like a dry, scaly <laughs> kind of face. And so I'm, I'm forever grateful for Lush, and I'm so glad. I've been using them for a couple of years, and they've never let me down. So let me share with you guys what I got today. Even if you don't have dry skin, if you have oily skin, I mean, they have... They have stuff for every kind of skin type and if you're not sure you can go in there and and talk to them ask the people working and they can help you find something that is perfect for your skin type or you can read about the products online and it'll tell you and it'll tell you this is for um, dry skin or oily skin or mature skin or combination skin it'll let you know so it's pretty awesome but anyway I got my favorite moisturizer skin drink and, and this one has Rose Petal Infusion, Aloe, Sesame Oil, and Avocado. And it has all the ingredients on the back as well. And that's what it looks like. It's kind of a brown color. But it really helps. It's like pretty much the only thing that will help my super dry skin. And the other thing I got was this. And this is the little green bag. And it's $19.99 and it's full of all kinds of Lush goodies. So let me share with you guys what's in here. I love the little, they used a scarf to make a bag, which is so cute. It's called the green bag, eco-friendly, you know. So let me share with you guys what's in here. So it comes with one of their shampoo bar tins. So you can keep your shampoo bar in it and it won't like get icky or um, melt away in the shower. And this one actually has a sugar scrub in it. And this is, they've got their sugar scrub in this. And this is a mini sugar scrub, but it's still enough to do a couple of scrubs on, on me. <laughs> I'll have to cut it in half. It's the mini sugar scrub. And um, it's preservative free, herby scented sugar body buffer. It smells nice. I like it. I love their sugar scrubs. They're very, very nice, very exfoliating. But like I said, I do kind of cut them in half so I don't have to use the whole thing because if you get it wet, then it's it's over. Um, and it comes with a soap, and this is the sea vegetable soap, I believe. Yeah. You guys can see it. It smells, it's got a citrus scent to it. Let's see what it says. Says just add water for a deep sea experience in a soap. This complete palm oil-free soap base is nourishing, cleansing, and refreshing. It definitely smells refreshing. It's definitely something I think I would like to use on a, a morning shower. And it comes with a shampoo bar, and it says the squeaky green shampoo bar. I like these. They're solid shampoos, and um, they do a really good job. I've always really liked them. At first, I was kind of skeptical because it was like solid shampoo and all this hair but it works out okay you can either lather it up in your hand or just do it on your head like that but it says it's made with freshly cut nettles rosemary and peppermint herbs each unpreserved bar saves three green bottles so that's another nice thing it's helping the planet and this comes with a solid conditioner bar as well 
and this is the jungle conditioner. That's what it looks like. And it says this envir environmentally friendly solid conditioner smooths and detangles for glossy fruit scented locks. Mm, it smells really nice. I really like this. And if it's going to help detangle, I'm, I'm definitely all about it. So I got that. The last thing it comes with is an H Peach Massage Bar. And I have a couple of these. I really like them. So I'll show you what it looks like first. And these are like a solid lotion. So you just, you know, work it on your skin, work in your hands, your arms, or whatever. And it'll kind of melt into your hands. And then you can um, massage it into your arms or legs, whatever you're going to use it on. And this says, this 100% natural oval of citrus joy is ideal for giving or receiving a back rub. The gorgeous butters and essential oils are sure to put a smile on your face. And it is, it's really nice. I really like those. And I like carrying these. They have little tins you can put these in. I have a couple of those too. But I like carrying these in my purse, except um, they can melt. <laughs> but they'll go back to solid. But if I know I'm going to be in an air-conditioned place and not outside for a long time, then I'll carry it with me because I have had several to melt on me and that's not cool at all. But anyway, I like using those because it's a lot smaller than carrying a lotion with me. Let me show you guys the scarf. This is what it was wrapped in, that cute little, um, it says Not Wrap by Lush. And then it has, you know, 100% organic cotton. And that's what they've been using a lot to um, cut down on waste and stuff to be more green. Because you can reuse this. You could reuse it just as a little fashion scarf. Or you could wrap somebody else's gift in it, whatever. So that's the little green bag. And they have it at Lush right now. You can order it online. I love Lush stuff. Don't get paid to say it, of course. Anyway, um, that's all I've got for this week. Hope you guys have a great week next week. And I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye, everybody.